welcome to another video so I'm just gonna quickly show you what to do anytime you get a question that says when is a, a function closest to the origin or to a point it doesn't matter what the function is it doesn't matter what the point is just follow the same rule you'll always get it right and this is what you do now you don't have to make a sketch, but I made this sketch so you can have a picture of what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you sketch the line of y equals 3x minus 4, you know the slope is positive because of this, therefore it will lean to, lean to the right, and the y-intercept is negative 4, so this point is negative 4. Okay, we know those two things. The x-intercept is really not important, but if you want to know it, it's going to be 4 over 3, which I think you can see from there, it's 4 over 3 when y equals 0. Okay, but we really don't need all these things because all you have to do is just choose a point and you're going to assume that that point is x, y. Okay, so I already chose this point because, because I'm very smart. I can see that the closest point to the origin has to be somewhere around here. Okay, so I'm just going to call the point x, y. So my job is to find out what exactly x, y is. There's an easy way to do it. The distance between two points. Remember the distance formula? That's the one that comes from Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so the distance formula tells us that the distance between two points, the square of this distance is equal to x minus zero squared plus y minus zero squared. So remember, it doesn't have to be the origin. It could be point one, negative four. It could be whatever point you are given um, as the point away from the line. Just plug them in here and expand the equation and you'll be happy. Okay, so let's do this. Um, if we expand this, that just tells us that this is x squared plus y squared. There's nothing special. Okay, now should you take the square roots? Hold on. Look at this. This is y squared. We want to have equations expressed only as x or as y. But now they've told us that y equals 3x minus 4. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to change this to um, this equation and replace y with 3x minus 4. See what I'm going to do? It's going to be d squared equals x squared plus 3x minus 4 squared. It's getting beautiful. Okay, so this is going to give me x squared plus. If I expand this, this is going to be the square of this, which is 9x squared. And if you multiply 4 by 3, you get 12, and that's going to happen twice. So that's negative 24, and negative 4 times negative 4 is plus 16. And we can put these together, which tells us that d squared will be equal to x squared plus 9x squared is 10x squared and you have um, negative 24, oh, I'm sorry, negative 24x, okay, negative 24x plus 16. Don't forget to put the x, otherwise um, it's absolutely wrong. I'm just going to rewrite this, okay, so that's 24x plus 16. At this point, this is the distance of any point, actually, the distance of any point on this line to the origin is 10x squared minus 24x plus 16. So how do we find the shortest distance? How do we find when this distance is smallest? That's how we say it. Okay, that's what is called minimization in calculus. Okay, remember that the maximum value or the minimum value usually of um, a function, especially like this, will happen when dy dx is equal to zero, usually. Well, if you get more than one value, you might start testing which value is the closest. But if you get just one value, that's the minimum or the maximum. However, this cannot be the maximum distance from the origin because if you look at this, things are going away from the origin. So there's no maximum. The line continue, it's a continuous function, so it keeps rising increasing forever and ever you can never get a maximum in this case what you can get is a minimum the closest to it so whatever answer we get right now will show us the way to the closest point on this line to the origin
let's do this. So let's minimize this. So this is a minimization problem. We're going to differentiate d dx, d squared. I want you to see that d here is a constant. It's not a variable, and it has nothing to do with this. Okay, even though I chose d because I was talking about distance. Okay, and we're going to differentiate this also with respect to x of 10 x squared minus 24 x plus 16. Okay, um, this is going to give us zero because whenever you differentiate a constant, you get a zero. Now, generally, that's what's always going to happen. When you use this method to minimize distance between a function or a line or a curve and a point, you always have the d on this side, and then it turns, it just goes into zero. Okay, so let's differentiate the right hand side. If we differentiate 10, 10 x squared, you get 20x. Differentiate this, you get negative 24. And this becomes zero, and you're done. What will x be? x will be equal to 24 over 20, which gives you 6 over 5. I just like leaving my fractions like that. Okay. So 6 over 5 is what we get, and that's the only answer we get, which means that's the only option for this. 6 over 5, yeah, looks like it. So what will y be? So we can complete this problem. We're going to go here and say y equals 3x minus 4. That's the only equation we have, 3x minus 4. We plug in the numbers. It's going to be 3 multiplied by 6 over 5 minus 4. That gives us 18 over 5 minus 4. A quick way to do this kind of subtraction, just multiply 5 by 4. What do you get? 20. What is 18 minus 20? It's negative 2. So your answer is negative 2 over 5. So these are the two values that we need to identify this position. So this point is actually 6, 5. That's when x is 6 over 5 and y is negative 2 over 5. As you can see, it actually fits the description because right here is about 1.2 and right here at this, at this point, it's about negative 2 over 5. Well, I survived without my chalk dropping to the floor. That's amazing. If you learned anything, give it a thumbs up, make sure you share it, and just leave a comment in the comment section. My name is Newton Okewoye. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Tell them I said so.